Are you looking for a best budget smartphone? Well, I've got you covered. A great processor, plenty of RAM, 120Hz display, fast charger, and over a 5000 mAh battery. Yes, this is the new Poco X3. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. It's really, really nice to have you back. Today, in this video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing and review of this Poco X3 Pro. I have got the top variant here, 256 gigs of storage and eight gigs of RAM. Is this the best bang for a buck? Let's find out. My name is Mohamed Suraif. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, smash that like button for YouTube algorithm. Let's begin. This phone is available in three different colors, phantom black, frost blue, and metal bronze. I've got the phantom black edition one, and I gotta say this is beautiful. We've got two matte finishes on the two sides, and a glossy finish in the center. We have the Poco logo in the bottom town area. This looks really dope, but this is a fingerprint magnet. Let's talk about the price of this device. This device comes around $300. In Saudi, you can buy this one for $1,099 SAR. Before we jump into the technical specification and the review section, I will take you through the unboxing section in a very very quick way so enjoy the unboxing section and come back i'll be waiting for you yeah so here we have the poco px3 pro box it comes in a very nice packaging black and yellow theme So I really like the color theme they've gone here. Now it's completely yellow from the box, it was black. So opening up, we have this silicon clear case and a few paper, and then we have got some Poco stickers, which is really cool. And then we have got another set of paper box, which is the user manual. And then we have the Poco welcome knot, welcome to the Poco family, which is quite nice. And then finally we have the phone. So if you want something to And then underneath we have got a 33 watt charger plus a type C charging cable. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hey, welcome back! <laughs> so basically this one is a successor of the Poco X3 NFC edition. This one comes with the Gorilla Glass 6 compared to the NFC one which used to come with the Gorilla Glass 5. So there is a slight improvement in there. So we have got a Gorilla Glass 6 in the front and aluminum frame and the plastic back which I'm okay with. I'm not a big fan of the glass back anyway, so I can live with this. This one is also IP53 water and dust resistant. The display here we have is HDR10, 450 nits, 120Hz display. It is 6.67 inches with 84.6 screen to body ratio. Out of the box, it runs on Android 11, MIUI 12. This one is powered with Snapdragon 860 and paired with a Adreno 640. So this must be a very good option for gamers. Talking about the storage and RAM, the one I have got here is the 256GB and 8GB of RAM. We can also use the SD card in it. It's got a hybrid SIM slot, so you can extend up to one terabyte crazy. We have got a code camera setup. The main shooter here is 48 megapixel f1.8. Secondary shooter is the ultra wide 8 megapixel f2.2. And then we have a 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth sensor, I think, which is quite okay -ish. With regards to video capabilities, it can shoot 4K at 30 and 1080p up to 960 FPS. It's got the electronic image stabilization, not the optical image stabilization. The front camera is 20 megapixel f2.2 shooter and which is quite decent and video wise it's capable of 1080p this is a sample video recording from the poco x3 pro 
uh, the zoom slider although you cannot see it it's quite smooth to slide in but we tend to lose quality by a lot now currently it's a 3x zoom now it's already all the detail is gone now it looks like a garbage camera <laughs> And the OD is also, by the way, from the straight from the straight into the phone from the microphones, so you should be able to see the decent quality. I think at 1.5x the quality is okay, -ish. and yeah, pretty much it's almost a good camera. And this one has got a side mounted fingerprint sensor. It's quite cool. And yes, we have got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which is cool. And it is packed with 5,160 mAh battery, paired with a 33 watt charger, which gives you up to 59% in half an hour and 100% in an hour. So here's my final verdict. Specification wise, this is a killer for the price. This is the best value for money I think you can get right now in the market. The only problem I've got with this phone is the MIUI. And of course it's packed with ton of features, which is really great. It's got built-in ads in the built-in apps. This is a deal breaker for me. So I cannot afford to see ads in my smartphone anyway. And <laughs> I know some of the application comes with ads and which is okay. But when it comes from a factory device and factory apps, I cannot bear this anymore. So if you're really on a tight budget, then this is the phone to go for. Apart from that, it's got a very decent camera. Battery life is a phenomenal, easy day and half for me. I'm not a heavy user. I'm a, just an average user. So battery wise, I'm completely happy with it. So let me know what you think about the Poco X3 Pro in the comments below. And let me know if you're gonna get this one and share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll be definitely checking them out. So with that being said, this is the end of this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. This is Mohammed, and I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay tuned to my channel and bye-bye.